Well guys, it's been a couple of days since we've had a vlog and I think it's time to talk about what Jen has been doing with the Volvo. We memorised the mileage and it just goes, service. Right, find out. Yes! Right, well, that's everything apart from the speedometer and the temperature meter that uh, needs testing. But I just need to finish putting the dashboard back together. I think we can say for certain that Jenny is very happy. Hello. 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 So, big, big success after a couple of days of work. I uh, finally got some tiny little gears. And um, these are gears that commonly on the A50 just uh, perish away. The plastic goes weird, almost like a mush. And it stops the odometer working. And uh, I got these spare gears from uh, eBay, actually. It only cost a few pounds. And then... Um, put it all back together. After a false start, it has to be said that um, it didn't work the first time, which was a bit of a ponderance. So I dismantled it all in the street, <laughs> just, you know, total hardcore. And um, it turned out to be a misaligned power connector on the uh, feed to the motor that rolls over the odometer. And once I did that, uh, driving back, the odometer on this dashboard has sprung back into life and it's it's weird in a way because it's probably one of the reasons that the car that this instrument cluster came out of was actually scrapped in the first place um probably a combination of failed pcv system um the odometer stopped working and the service light was on on it which probably means as well that it hadn't been looked after so um it was just a few pounds worth of little plastic gears and it's all back working and to boot i've got a fully working trip computer as well it tells us a lot of different things on this button here and uh, so for example it now tells us it thinks we can do 180 miles before the tank is empty. Before, you just kind of guess. That's pretty good. Yeah, and it'll also give you some kind of estimate on uh, the um, fuel economy and stuff. So yes, we've managed to do a little bit with the Volvo and even been outside where I've been working on spray painting some of my models so that I can get them going and uh, actually start painting up some little ships. That'll be nice. Well guys, hello again on the vlog. I've had an interesting couple of days. We've taken down the pool and I've had to clean all of that, uh, clean the pool. So it's uh, cleaning off of uh, the other side of the yard garden area and I've just been on doing an extra special job because we've taken all the fruit off the trees. The, cooking apples, the eating apples and the fig tree so we've got a lot of fun stuff coming up. <laughs> it's going to be good and I've managed to uh, put a primer on my little ships. Do you want to see? So here we have the cutty sock and uh, as you can see it's just a light primer. Just sprayed that over so I get to paint that up nicely. It's all going to be uh, really cool and uh, once that's done I'll do a bit of weathering on it. That'll look fantastic. And here's my little tugboat which is rather special and again you can see a bit of the pink from the the uh, weirdly uh, bright red plastic that it was made from and I'm going to again paint all that up. I haven't put a huge amount of primer on, there's still a bit of pink through because uh, basically the primer is there solely to make sure that I can uh, put a good uh, coat of paint on it. You can see a lot of the, the pink underneath it though because I haven't uh, yet been able to uh, turn that over and put a spray on the bottom because otherwise I would get primer all over my hands. So I'm going to let that dry. The plan is for both of these to be on my end gauge uh, diorama that I'm going to make of like a, a harbour seaside town. But it's a town that's uh, it's going to be set in the modern day but it's going to have a heritage railway on it because that way I've got an excuse to run whatever I want. <laughs> I mean I don't need an excuse, it's my railway and my rules. But the point is that uh, I'll have a an in-world excuse to run whatever I want because it'll have a heritage day and things like that. And as a result, we can put uh, heritage ships around, 
We can also have the tugboat in the harbour and things like that. It's going to be interesting. But also, we've been working on this lovely, lovely garden railway. So there you are. There's a few little bits and pieces that we've been going on with. I hope you've enjoyed that. It's a, a little bit of a hodgepodge for today's episode, but it's nice to keep up to date. Right, I've got to get prepared now because we've got some live shows to do and I need to make the thumbnails and then get set to actually do the shows. Until next time, I've been Zoe Kirk Robinson. You've been watching the vlog. Take care. Have a great day. I'll see you next time. If you like the show, please consider supporting me on Patreon. It really does help create future videos. That's patreon.com slash Zoe Kirk Robinson. And I've got an extra special thanks going out to Chief89, Sam Yates, Retro Mickey82, Mo Henry, and George Botterini. Thank you so much, guys.